Sila expecting a capacity building program. And I wasn't 100% in it, I, but the opportunities and the environment was right, so I just came. I knew that there was going to be a fantastic network, so I was ready to network. But what I got out of it, and people said at the beginning this is going to be a journey, for me it was like a journey, that's corny. But now, after 10 days, it was a journey. It was an amazing journey, completely unexpected. So me, I'm a person who comes from corporate lifestyle, and then there's the other side of me, which is the meditation retreats. And where I go to discover myself and, you know, re remove myself from that crazy world. Here, I got both. And it was very strange for me because there was so much of confusion in my life with the corporate world and then the spiritual side of me, you know, what is my purpose? And everything, all the voices in my head by the end of the 10 days just became so clear. And one of my weaknesses was like, just if I could just share one thing is that I, throughout my life, always thought, how can I please the other person? You know, um, and those voices just went away and I was just, um, I'm today standing here just true to myself, saying what I want to say, not really caring what people think, but this is what I am, this is what I like. And for me, that is just the most valuable thing I've learned. The tools that they taught us, it's not tools that we can use in business only. The tools are having such an effect on my life. Starting with, I think my husband is going to love me when I get back. Because, right? you know, like for example, the personal analysis, I'm like, ah, so that's what it is. I'm like, oh, so that's what it is. And I've worked all my life to work on my weaknesses. And here was the only place I learned that I just need to embrace my strength. Um, thank you, Sila. And for anyone who's even considering it, this is the real deal, like John King says.